Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. In today's ProKit Basics, I'm going to show you how you can create your own color palette from an image manually. I have a video on how to do it automatically, but I generally don't use that because I don't love the results, so I'm going to show you how to do it manually today. I would love for you to follow along. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on this plus sign here and then create a new canvas. I'm going to select screen size for now. And then... I'm going to zoom out just a touch. Now I'm going to insert a photo into this canvas so I can use it to create the color palette. In order to insert a photo, go to the actions menu and make sure you're on add and then tap insert a photo. And then what will happen is your camera roll will open up and you will have the option to pick any of the photo. I'm going to pick this one. I got this off of Unsplash. I'm going to use two fingers to kind of move it off to the side and resize it. You can resize by moving it like this with your fingers. And then I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to tap on the brushes. And what I want to do is I want to create a color palette here just to kind of see what the colors look like. So I'm going to select a brush. Let's see which one I want. I'm going to go to the calligraphy set. This is a Procreate default brush. It's a free brush. I'm going to select the chalk brush. It has some nice texture and it's a nice brush to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into the image and then I'm going to select the colors I like. In order to select a color from an image, the fastest way to do it is to color pick by pressing and holding with your finger, with one finger. And what you're seeing here is the top color that is the new color that's being selected and the bottom color is the previous color I had colored with. So it's that color there. So I want to select this pink here, the background, then release. And now I can paint my color in. Looks nice. And now I'm going to do the same thing and select a few other colors. So you can move it around wherever you want. So I'm going to select this really bright pink here. Ooh, it's a nice color. Then I'm going to select, let's say, I want to make it a little darker. That looks good. And let's select. So you can keep moving it around until you get what you like. I like that. That looks good. And now I want to select a few of the leaf colors as well. That's a nice pretty one. And then maybe you want a darker version of this. So let's go here. So now I can see the previous color and I can see the new color. So it's a really good tool, this color picker, because you can see the difference between the colors that you have selected before. So that one was quite light, the previous color, but now I want a darker version of it. So now that is a darker version of it. The upper half of that circle is a darker version. And I could keep going, but I think that is a great palette. Now, once I have decided on the palette here, I may want to move the palette into my colors menu. I generally don't do this, but I want to show you how to do it. So if you want to take the palette here and move it here, you can go to palettes and then say create new palette. And now I'm going to name this. To name the palette, just tap there and I'll call it uh, floral. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my disc mode. I, I actually like to work with disc mode. For some reason, it's just more comfortable for me. And then I'm going to move this and I'm going to select the color by press and hold. And that's the color selected and then tap here. And I'm going to repeat that. And that's it. The palette is created. That's really that simple. The reason why I don't directly put the colors into the palette first is here it's on a black background. So it looks a little bit different. I actually like to see my colors on a white background first and then move them here if I do. Now, if you want to share this palette with someone, you most definitely can go back to the palettes menu and then you'll see these three dots here tap on them and you can say share. So if you want to share this with a friend, you most definitely can share it. You can also delete it here and you can duplicate it here. 
So that's pretty much all there is to creating a palette from an image. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.